Okay, in this tutorial we're going to um, configure a router on a stick scenario and we'll talk about that and so in this diagram so far I've got a router which I've dragged out has no configuration I've got a switch with no configuration and I've got two PCs and this is the plan the PCs have been configured this one has been given IP address 192.168.1.100 and the gateway's been set to 192.168.1.1 and this PC is 192.168.2.100 and his gateway has been configured already for 192.168.2.1 so we've got 2.100 and 1.100 and this PC is going to be in VLAN 10 and this PC is going to be in VLAN 20 so correspondingly the 20 VLAN is the 2 network, 192.168.2 network, and the 10 VLAN is the 192.168.1 network. So now what we need to do is configure the switch and then we'll configure the router. Okay, we also have to set up some connections here. So I'll go to the connections here and I'll get a straight through cable. I'll cable it to this PC's fast Ethernet and we'll connect it to the switch here and we'll c connect it to fast ethernet let's say port 1 so he's connected to port 1 on the switch and then this PC fast ethernet and then drag it over to the switch and we'll put this guy on port 10 so this guy's connected to port 1 this guy's connected to port 10 on the switch and so now it's time to configure the switch now I'm going to jump straight to the configurations that have to deal with VLANs and trunking and setting that up. So I'm going to go enable and now I'm in uh, privileged exec mode and now I'm going to go to configure terminal to get into global config and I'm going to set up the VLANs. So VLAN 10, enter, and then VLAN 20 and enter. Okay, so let's take a look at our VLANs. I've done a show VLAN command and you can see that we have the default VLAN, VLAN 1, and all the ports on the switch are on VLAN 1, the default port. And you can see we have VLAN 10 and VLAN 20 which I just created so they're there but they don't have any ports associated with them so we need to associate some ports with VLAN 10 and 20 so we'll just hit more and we need to do that okay so I'm going to do a conf T which is short for configure terminal to get me into global config mode int fa 0 slash 1 port 1 interface and I'm going to change it to switch port mode access and then switch port access VLAN 10. Alright, so now port 1 has been configured to use VLAN 10. And now I'll do interface FA0 slash 10 alright hit enter and that changes my interface mode to a different interface to port 10's interface and now I'm going to do a switch port mode access and then switch port access VLAN 20 and then I'll do control Z to get out and then I'll do a show VLAN and you can see now that port 1 is part of VLAN 10 and port 10 is part of VLAN 20 and we have our clients connected to those ports so we're all good now so now this he's connected to port 1 he's connected to port 10 so he's connected to port, port uh, VLAN 20 and and this guy's connected to port 1 which is on VLAN 10 now let's set up our trunk for the switch. For the trunk, I'll do a conf t get in global config mode, and we'll put the 
trunk on port 24. So I'll say int interface fa0 slash 24 and then I'll say switch port mode trunk. So now port 24 is going to be a trunk. And I'll just hit end. And if I want to save my configuration, which is important to do, configure, oh uh, no, copy, run, start. Okay, and then I'll hit yes to accept the default, so I save my configuration. So now, let's just test a few things out here. Both of these clients are connected to the switch, and they're both on separate VLANs, so they should not be able to communicate with one another. Let's test that out. Go to desktop, command prompt, ping, you see that PC1, or PC0, who's 1.100, cannot ping 2.100. So even though they're connected to the same switch, right, even though these two computers are connected to the same switch, they cannot communicate with each other because they're on separate VLANs. And you can see the ping here and times out. All four echo requests have timed out, and so no communication. Okay. Now, we're going to connect the switch to the router. It's going to be a straight through cable. And I configured the trunk on port 24. So I'm going to connect it to port 24 and then to this router on fast ethernet 00. So now I've connected from port 24 on the switch to the first ethernet port on the router. So on the router we need to set up a configuration. So go into the router, and do I want to do a system a configuration dialog? No. And I'm going to type enable. Okay, I'm in the router, and it's time to configure the router. We've configured the trunk on the switch side, but we haven't configured anything on the router so far. So we need to configure the uh, trunking for the router. And to do that, what we're going to do is, this, this cable is attached to fast ethernet 00 on the router. What we're going to do is we're going to configure the router for sub-interfaces, and we're going to give an IP address for each sub-interface for each network or each VLAN that this router is going to be a part of. And we're also going to enable the interfaces for the 802.1Q protocol. So on the router, there I am. I'll do a conf t to get into global config mode and I'll say interface fa0 zero slash 0.1 zero and hit enter and that puts me into sub interface um, command mode here. So I'm in global config sub interface command mode and I'm going to say IP address 192.168.1.1 and then the subnet mask, which is going to be a regular 24-bit subnet mask, and I'll hit enter. Okay, gives me a warning that it needs to be part of the 802.1Q protocol. So I'm going to type in in cap and hit tab, capsulation dot one Q, and then a space, and then a ten to signify VLAN 10. And I'll hit enter and I'll say no shut. So that's no shutdown on that interface. And now I'm going to go up arrow until I get to interface FA0 slash 0.1 and I'm going to change that to dot 2. So this is going to be interface fast ethernet 0 slash 0 dot 2 meaning sub interface 2. I'll hit enter. All right and that automatically turned that interface up and I'm now in that mode and so now 
I can do up arrow till I get to IP address and I'll change this to 2.1 so this will be on sub interface 2 will be the router will be 192.168.2.1 on sub interface dot one he was 1.1 .1. so do that uh, let's see here enter and gives me a warning and I'm going to ignore it and I'm going to go up into capsulation dot one Q and this will be part of VLAN change the 10 to a 20 to signify VLAN 20 I'll hit enter and no shutdown and control Z to exit and I want to look at my running config now so I do a show running config and you can see that I've got interface 0, 0 with no IP address see here's my normal interface FA00 that's my physical interface no IP address but then look at this interface fast ethernet 0, 0 0.1 encapsulation dot one Q but it does not read an IP address right so maybe I needed the encapsulation dot one Q before I could put the IP address so my IP address is not showing on those interfaces well it's not going to work until I have an IP address on those interfaces so I'm gonna have to go back and do it again and let's give that a try again I'm gonna go to interface there we are dot one and I'll try IP address 1.1 1 .1. alright and then I'll go to subinterface.2 and change the IP address to 2.1 alright that looks good I'll hit end and enter and then I'll do a show run to show my running configuration and there's the IP addresses showing up on the sub interfaces so it was important I had to do the encapsulation dot one Q first to get this to work so now it should be working I'm gonna do a show IP route to look at my routing table and I see that I have the uh, one network and the two network directly connected on dot one and dot two so I believe it's working let's see if we can test our network so we'll click on and if it's working well we have got some green lights so that's nice but if it's working the router should be able to route packets from this PC to this PC since the routing table shows both networks is connected I believe it's gonna work so up arrow here and try to ping 2.100 and we'll see here if we get a reply up oh, there's some replies so it worked the first one timed out but then I got three replies so everything works and now the router is a router on a stick it's um, routing for across two VLANs only one connection from the switch to the router but two networks communicating with each other um, the router enables the VLANs to talk to each other because the router is able to route traffic from one VLAN to the next.